How is it going everybody and welcome back to a brand new video and today's video what I've got for you is talking and discussing the Ultimate Scream uh, promo event that we're going to see in about three weeks time. Obviously we're in October now and late October we have Halloween. EA love to bring out a Halloween promo and call it Ultimate Scream. Now last year we had these cards in Ultimate Scream. I have the full starting 11 for you guys here. We also had a bunch of SBCs that I'll get onto in just a little minute. Uh, however we have the full starting 11. Now what happened is throughout the year at random times, uh, the first one was like two weeks after the event was when it was a, I think it was a full moon or something like that. It was something to do with werewolves. EA boosted them. But EA would boost these cards with ridiculous stats. We had like a 91 company, like a 90 or 89 uh, Kadira, like an 85 Forster. We had some incredible, incredible cards and they were very, very, very high rated. They were pretty good to use and uh, they were only there for about a weekend um, until I think they did a permanent boost towards late game just to make people use them because no one cared about them after. Um, but we did get these, to me, these seem random. Uh, they have like uh, a, a short description. Now, the one that I've been looking at the most, or the two, should I say, is the Bender Brothers. I want to see if there's a formula to it and how they decide it. And uh, the one I've been looking at is the Bender Brothers, because obviously they've both got the last name Bender. So I'm wondering why EA would make them both um, screen cards. Maybe it's something to do with the names. And the, uh, the descriptions they have is the Bender Twins are spine chilling, horror movie cliche, steamrolling op opponents all over the pitch for Bayer Leverkusen with wicked smiles on their faces larger the more central of the two often skull skulking skulking around the midfield and popping up out of nowhere to snatch the ball from the opponent before they know what hit them and Sven Bender, Sven only recently joined his twin brother at Leverkusen after spending most of his senior career at Bosch and Dortmund. But he's now using his monstrous defensive, defensive qualities, I can't even read, alongside his brother to strike fear into hearts of all of, over the Bundesliga. Whereas Lars is more comfortable with the ball at his feet. I literally can't read this for some reason. Whilst Lars is more comfortable with the ball at his feet. Um... Further up the pitch, Sven has developed into a menacing centre-back with brilliant tackling ability. So I'm trying to figure out what the correlation between both of them. Obviously, they're both twins. They're both the Bender brothers, as we know. I'm wondering what the correlation is between these two guys and why they are picked. Now, I'm also looking, and there seems to be a lot of German players here. A lot of German and a lot of Belgian, a little bit of French as well. Um, so I'm wondering what it is and, and what the correlation is or whether it is literally just pot random um, and they just bring out completely random cards. Uh, I think for this, we probably have to have a look at the FIFA 17 Ultimate Scream uh, lineup, but I looked all over the place and I genuinely can't find a photo that's good quality enough to actually have a look at. So uh, I'm, we're stuck with this pretty much at the minute. Um, but looking at it, it seems like there's a lot of tall players. That's the one thing I do notice. Um, obviously, we've got Crouch. We've got Van Damme, who's very tall as well. Um, just looking up the line, there's a few other tall players in there. Sacco's pretty tall. Benzema is pretty tall. Um, we've got Perisic, who's pretty tall as well. The Bender Brothers are pretty tall. Kadir is pretty tall. Company is pretty tall. Force is a giant as well. So maybe there's a correlation there. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not giving you advice here to invest. I'm just trying to figure out what the correlation is. I'd love to know if there is any... Any correlation at all, that's what I would love to know. Now, in terms of SBCs, this is a video from, I believe, I Has Carrot um, on the uh, the weekend or, or week, so to say, that we got the promo. Now, as you see, we have two SBCs here, Terror from the Deep and Lost, uh, sorry, yeah, Terror from the Deep and Lost in the Labyrinth, the two Scream SBCs. I believe we got daily SBCs or every other day with brand new uh, requirements, and these are two of them right here. We also have, I believe it is here, we we have the guaranteed Ultimate Scream. This is the return of Ultimate Scream SBC that Bateson covered. Um, and the overall rating is an 83 rated team with 70 chemistry. Players from the same nation, Max 4. Now, I believe we also had another one. This is from Ayers Carrot. This is the Ultimate Scream SBC in like exactly the same reward. Bateson's video was published on the 30th of October. That's one thing I can tell you. So these are all roughly the same time frame. Um, so we got two Ultimate Scream SBCs, which is pretty interesting. They're both 83 rated, uh, 83 rated um, teams. They're both 83 rated with the same league or the same nation, a maximum of four. So I'm wondering if 
it's worth picking up a few 83 rated players. It's probably not a bad idea. Um, and, you know, obviously, as we've seen recently, we got the Gelson Martins SBC, which skyrocketed a bunch of 85 rated players. 83s are pretty cheap at the minute. And in a week's time, if we have no content at all, they'll be even cheaper in my opinion. So it's worth, if you can get an 83 for like a thousand coins, it's worth picking up a bunch of them because they're really safe investments and you're going to make a lot of coins on them. Um, that being said, it's also probably worth trying to get some links in there as well. As you see, there's a Borja Valero Jean Mario link here. Something similar to that would probably be a smart decision as well to get some links in. Um, that would probably be pretty smart. Now on Footbin right now, as you see, we have three 83 rated players that are going for 1.2k. If we adjust that price range from 200 to 1.3 thousand coins, uh, we might see a few more as you see and it's worth going on footbin and finding the cheapest 83s and pick up a bunch of them Because if EA do anything similar to last year It's probably a good investment to make in a few 83 rated players as you see uh, Shinji Kagawa, Eva Benega, Borman, Mandanda, Balotelli, Timo Horn, Guiliano Because the moment this SBC drops if it's 83 rated, 83 is going to skyrocket. And in the lead up beforehand, we'll see a lot of other YouTubers start making videos similar to this one. But like in a few in a few weeks time when it's like really close, that's when hype starts and 83 starts to come a bit more expensive. So if you bought them now, you want to sell them in the hype like a week before the actual event starts because that's when the hype begins and that's when players' prices start to rise. So it's probably a better idea. Um... But honestly, what I do is I just go on to Footbin. Footbin's a fantastic website, by the way. This site is absolutely phenomenal. It's great uh, for what it does, and it's just a great website. So I go to Footbin. I'd search players on the top tab. I go down to FIFA 19 players. It's simple as this. You want to go version, gold, rare. Then you want to go over here to the stars. You want to go min 83, uh, not 93, 83, max 83. And then once that filters there, you want to filter by custom price of 200 is the minimum. And, uh, and the maximum, as you saw there, was uh, 1.3k. Uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't actually set the rating. So we want to go 83 and 83 and bang. As you see here, we've got all the 83 rates that are 1.2k. So it's it's easy as that. And obviously, as praise, players' prices increase, uh, if you want to take a little bit of profit, then sell earlier. If you want to try and maximize your profit, then sell later. And of course, if you want to try and take the risk to get a lot of coins, I'd probably wait until the Ultimate Scream SBC releases. Because although I don't remember 100%, I can almost guarantee you that 83 rated players went from about 1.3k to about three and a half, four thousand 4,000 coins for this, this SBC and, and this promo. Now, the last thing I do want to talk to you guys about is the SBC they brought out um as you see the terror from the deep and lost in the labyrinth nep actually made a video on both these spcs the terror from the deep was for an election players pack and it was super easy and the lost in the labyrinth was for the rare gold pack and again very very easy both incredibly easy to complete and i think that it's probably worth it at this point not to invest in a lot of plays but to do bronze pack method um if you guys haven't done Bronze Pack Method before, you don't know what Bronze Pack Method is. I don't want to sound like Nick 28 or anything like that here. I do want to say that it is a fantastic way of making coins. Genuinely, it is absolutely phenomenal way of making coins. But also, it's just easy to get a lot of players in the club. As you see, Net probably had these players in the club. If I'm looking at it, he probably has loyalty on these players. Um, and he probably would have had to go out and buy a... Uh, uh, you know this sentiment this right back from the uh, from the MLS and it probably would have gone got cost him anywhere from 700 to 2,000 coins to get this side done just on its own just because of how price fix people make these cards so if you ask me do a little bit of bronze part method and just save up some players and make you can actually make some coins and save some players in the uh, at the same time just save up a bunch of players for potential SBCs like this it's honestly so worth it it takes up a little bit of your time but it's worth it like genuinely I think the bronze part method is one of the most OP things in this game. If there's anything you want to take away from this video, it's probably to buy 83 rated players or just invest in some 83 rated players. Of course, now we can, if, if you don't want to ever open packs, you can obviously fill your uh, your whole club up with 1,083 rated players and just never be able to open packs. However, you can, of course, have 100 on the transfer list. And if, if you're smart, you can bid on 100 more and just not, you know, if you win the bid, you can just not apply them to the club and they'll stay on your watch list as well as one items. So that's a little smart one for you there if you guys want to have more um but if you're going to take away anything from this video it's probably just to prepare by buying some 83s do a little bit of bronze pack method or just get some plays in the club maybe you do some sbcs or get some daily rewards that give you like a a silver plat uh, silver pack or like a, even a silver reward pack 
just easy things like that get you some decent players in the club and in time will save you a lot of coins on SPCs. That's just my personal advice. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.